Hi guys. I'm in my garage today. It's like 10 degrees outside and it's windy and cold. So I turned the heat on in here and I'll tell you about my I'll tell you a little story about my generator that I worked on it yesterday. Normally when I work on it, I put this little masking tape tag on it and it says that I ran it dry 12, 15, 16 and I refilled it with 30 weight royal purple synthetic oil and I added a new battery. This Generac generator is used for uh, emergency use at the house in, in the event we lose power and uh, it does a good job for that but this little battery that they have on the frame of the machine this thing here the dealer will charge me over a hundred bucks for that little battery it's a special loader thing and the battery needs to be replaced again and I said you know I'm not gonna play this hundred dollar game so what I did is I went down to the parts store and I picked up a tractor battery like what we use for our lawnmowers and stuff and uh, I'll show you how I wired that thing in and hopefully I can give you guys an idea instead of spending a hundred bucks you can spend 35 or 40 and get a battery that will uh, do the job if you notice on this here you can see the the blue connectors those are the connectors that I uh, I cut the I cut off the original battery where it was the car I cut out the wires and then I tied in eight gauge wires a negative a black wire and a, and a positive a red wire and I run them now to a new location on the on the generator also for your pleasure when I first put this on you can see I put a little uh, see that um, where you drain the oil there's a little hose coming off right there and that's how I drain the oil so I don't make a mess when I when I change the oil on the machine that's an easy thing to do also they have uh, parts that you uh, could buy or make I made that it's a hydraulic line I cut and ran over to the other side of the machine now get yourself some uh, this metal strapping if that's what may work for you and then I relocated my battery right here so you see how I put the, that metal strapping on the frame and I got a metal battery tray and I kind of like just fabricated it right in an open spot on the generator and there's the, uh, the new battery I purchased if you look at the connectors on it you can see that they're just simple bolt-on connectors that the wires uh, feed into and clamp onto the battery and you got to make yourself a uh, battery hold down which is not all that hard to do you can see how I kind of like uh, it goes into the bottom of the battery tray and goes up and goes across the battery and don't forget you want to tie off all your wires with nylon ties to make sure that the wires are not going to be touching any engine parts that generate a lot of heat because you don't want to melt your wires over here now let's go to my bench and I'll show you how I made those uh, those uh, bolt-on battery connectors and those are soldered together so I'll show you how I soldered the uh, wires when I get to my bench now of course you need to get some wire this is 8 gauge wire that I'm using for this uh, application it matches the wires that are on the machine now so that's what I'm using and of course you need uh, to get some connectors that look like this that connects to your battery with a little uh, 5 16 or a quarter inch screw nut and bolt that's what holds these in right here is the uh, the 8 gauge wire that I'm using let's assume that one wire is the uh, the machine wire that I cut the uh, the original battery out so I fix it like three quarters of an inch I separate the insulation from the wire and I'll take my wire put it together and I'll twist it lightly to keep so it's uh, together go down to Lowe's or Home Depot and they sell these 8 gauge wire nuts and these are the kind that uh, has a silicone inside it's like a waterproofing just put this on and twist it on nice and tight and those are how I made my connections under the machine now I'll show you how I made the uh, the battery connections 
This is the uh, what I use for the battery. I'm going to put it in my vise so it's going to get warm for a minute. I picked up this uh, butane torch. Nice little torch. Handy little torch for a lot of things. I'm using regular rosin core solder, nothing special, just for basic soldering. But what I do, I warm this up. And I put the solder in here until it's about three quarters full. Then I take my wire, I put it in something like that. Do a nice neat job. And that's your connection. That, that's on for, uh, for life. It's a good connection and you certainly won't be able to pull that apart. That's how, you make my, uh, that's how I make my solder uh, connections on the battery. Now in, in the event we lose power, all I need to do is throw gas in the generator and I know the battery is good and it'll turn right over. This won't start because there's no gas in it. But Throw the choke on. Maybe be running and we'll have power in the house and I'll have nice warm showers and life will be good. Thanks for watching.